I, I still remember each person that passed away on my watch. And you see the impact of that on the families um, that I take that extremely personal. Tracy was a single mum with a, a young daughter. She was 30 years old at the time. In fact, it was a birthday that day. It, it took uh, the emergency response team eight hours to, to remove Tracy, Tracy from, the, from the cab of the truck. And I remember this uh, young girl running back through the hospital and she was screaming at the top of her lungs, that's not my mother. Bei einem Todesfall fühlt man sich ganz klar mitverantwortlich. Man stellt sich vor, wie wäre das, wenn man die Person persönlich kennen würde. Und dann reflektiert man mal ein paar Minuten und merkt, wie wichtig das Thema ist. The, the emotion is, is shame. Um, but it's important for us that we actually get up, dust ourselves off and put that energy back in to make sure that the, the legacy of that person that never went home is actually making our business better for everybody that's still left. Across much of our business, we run some very safe businesses. Year after year, we get excellent results. But there have been some operations that have not achieved this of late. We're here for the long haul, and therefore it's actually setting up strategic priorities with clear expectations, so assets are very clear on what the long-term goal is, and that's about having a zero fatality workforce. Strong leadership, particularly in safety, is so important. You can't fake it. And if they see that you're not invested in it, they struggle to follow you. До тех пор, пока мы у себя будем наблюдать печальную статистику, когда бы она ни происходила и на каком активе, мы должны относиться к этому как признаку, что температура поднимается не из-за того, что это болезнь само собой, а это признак болезни, которую надо лечить. We can't blame the people that work for us for that safety performance. That comes down to us as leaders of this organization. Desde el punto de vista de la seguridad, el liderazgo es es, es importantísimo tener un liderazgo claro y que privilegie la seguridad eh, ante, ante todo. The individuals on the ground, if they see their boss cutting corners, then they will have a belief that they can do that as well. We must care for people. And do not think that you can just say the word. People see right through you. We have to set ourselves the objective of training towards zero incidents. You have to have a personal belief that not injuring people at work is possible. And it is possible. First of all, you must understand why people do what they do. You know, it's not uh, blaming the people for doing something wrong. It's really trying to understand what the real root causes are. If you've got a positive and a mature safety culture, uh, then often those behaviour-based issues that people discuss will often rectify themselves. Преимущество, которое Glencore имеет, учитывая глобальный охват компании и что работаем буквально во всех континентах мира, что как раз мы та компания, которая будет сталкиваться с спецификой всех систем исторических и ментальности. And we've got some fantastic practices that if we applied them globally across the group, we would be a world leader in, in safety. Well, I'm, I'm an optimist. I don't believe there's anything that stops us from moving forward and making this better. My, my son is, is in uh, second year of university. This week, he's, he started his first vacation job in, in one of our mines. And have we done every single thing that we possibly can to make sure that Jake's going to come out of that mine safely today? Every single person, 150,000 people we have working for us, they are all somebody's son or daughter or brother, sister, mother, father. And we need to think in those terms about every single one of those 150,000 people. That's what needs to drive us. <laughs>